all right welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series we were in let's go to production like you can actually go from the admin center as well clicking on protection and security so all the main base early billing is zero so security and compliance actually all right so we saw the alerts last night um let's see what's information if you remember when we we're doing we did the on january 18 we did the e discovery manager and we did the this thing before too when we were doing the exchange and we wanted that so permission is that you want to um give permission to certain people about certain things and if you see that this learn uh, this uh, little ex uh, exclaimer here uh, it's saying that uh, you can manage a lot of permission through here so but for exchange and sharepoint like site admins and email admins uh, you have to do it from their admin centers so the permission that we saw uh, were very like um, they were very small when we were giving Ali permissions when we created the Ali's um, let me show you actually so when we were like creating Ali's uh, account in the very f uh, beginning we did that So that would be like way beginning when we created an account and give them permission. So Ali could be a uh, an admin for one or two uh, services, but like um, license to use at this one, it was this one. So if you like uh, giving the permission, the uh, just for the apps or all that, you can check out this video. <coughs> or you can no actually it will be this one I'm sorry how to add create users it will be this one so just check both of these videos out and you you will know like how to create a user and how to give them X uh, make them admin of a service but this is much broader this is about the back ends admins and all that if you see discovery uh, e-discovery we uh, did this uh, other video here about e-discovery uh, run report no we did e-discovery right there up so i've given an update on that e-discovery that you can actually go and search something so how you check the managers uh, so you see <coughs> the manager is aslan and administrator are these so you can give them permission about things so i found out that the, there can be only one manager for at least for this one the premium business premium so like somebody would be reviewer if you click on it you will see what they do analyze it like analytics feature so they can analyze things in uh, of how this how this product is being used this as in the office 365 and related any product or what the users are behaving behaving so basically with it's a, like a, um, analysts they uh, give out a way a roadmap what is to be expected and how to improve another sir already a service so it's very important for businesses records management records management if you click in record content and records could be anything that is related to your company so you can actually go assign roles so if you have like a, a need of an admin to uh, be a record manager or you know receive reviewer whatever like somebody from the finance they want access somebody from the software development needs to be a reviewer as well so like it can be any department based on their need you assign them a role here uh, so inside risk management let's see what this is risk policy investigation admins permanent contribution reviewer so these are all the assigned roles that you can give them uh, like this is the description but these are the rules and there are no members content explorer list viewer security operation security operation is very um, important 
<clears throat> and these are not like the security guards this is about the devices and all that uh, dlp is very important data loss prevention you often hear about that hey that company was hacked and they got uh, this and this and this um, <clears throat> um many users um affected so their information was stolen so this one very important and device management all that like who can audit logs who can check them is it view only like they cannot audit log but they can view <clears throat> so these are all the permission that you can give somebody from here like security global reader compliance administrator so compliance administrator will be that will actually go and work with the government if your company had the breach or something so <clears throat> they will be responsible for the correspondence and you know that only only they have access so nobody else has access and you know it's 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 a legal thing mail flow administrator if you remember the mail flow in for uh, emails when we did the exchange it's somewhere it's got, no, it's got general mail public filtering spam it should be right mail flow like uh, you can s set up who is the administrator for that and you can see they are view only like you can assign anybody like a member <coughs> they are only um, they can view only so mail flow is like a, um, a user says hey I know that my friend is sending me emails or i know at this vendor he, he sent me an important uh, um, documentation that i need to work and that you know uh, i haven't received it and that that vendor or friend or whoever colleague is insisting that they have so you can actually go and check where the email was stopped uh, it was if you don't see it in your system like it was stopped by one of your spam or junk mail folder policies then you can tell them hey it is probably an outside thing even though that uh, send uh, sender has sent from his box but he needs to contact their admin to see where the uh, where the email is stopped on their end but if you see it that it was uh, applied in your organization spam or junk or you know malware whatever policy and it detected it quarantined it then you can go view it like it says view only and then you can release it if you want <coughs> service assurance users quarantine administrator so quarantine administrator that they can actually see what is quarantine and quarantine is just not for the emails it's about the files as well like i've so far files are being quarantined that users uploaded to either SharePoint or OneDrive then they can go check them release them or whatever the, um, the thing is data investigator is about the data mining like you imagine if you have like hundred not hundred of thousand but maybe even a hundred or uh, five hundred users or maybe thousand will be more than enough for to exhaust any human so you need data mining and these policies to find the pin in the straw, uh, hay straw so these are the policies that you can assign we saw that how to for the discovery uh, you can do that so let's go and go to security reader what security reader assign roles there are more than that let's mail flow administrator and make a member view only you can edit it actually oh, okay can we edit it like it's more than we can add more roles so these are the rules or roles roles actually that we can add for that uh, inside that uh, group that is cancel mail flow administrator so right now there's only one role that is view only but we have ton of them inside then we can add and then give a make a member that admin or that role we can assign that role to someone for example if we uh, for, uh, for the no delete close so for one two three four five six seven so we have seven roles here we can assign if allowed 
by the compliance thing we can assign them to what just one person or if it's like too big we we can assign seven people seven different roles and they have to call up collaborate on this one because they all have a role to play so they become a team on this one so mail flow administrator we, as, we can assign a member so let's make aslan choose a member we can type aslan search it's not working bill that's oh I have to add members so I can make bill a member add you see it's added and now this search function is to search between here in the members like if that person is a member or not so when i do that it goes away okay so that's the member we can done so now bill clinton is the member i can save it so now bill clinton is the member that is assigned the view only uh, recipient and if i can go here choose roles and he is view only recipient okay so this is how we do it so this is the role like if there are more we could assign them more roles so this is the choose we save it and now bell is the member of this group that is mail flow administrator and their assigned roles is only view only recipient so very easy <coughs> so Let's wrap this video here. Then that that is for the permission. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.